Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I'm a banking and a payment consultant. Today, I want to explain what the mid-market rate is. Mid-market rate is also known by its other name called the interbank rate, which I'll explain more later. And I want to tell you how it's calculated and what it means. Typically, any currency pair that you see quoted on you know, a system like, let's say, Reuters or Bloomberg, etc., will be quoted in two forms. There is, for example, this could be a hypothetical currency. You know, this could be the the pound versus the dollar and let's say it's quoted like this 1.50 1.40 the left hand side is the bid price the right hand side is the ask price basically as a bank or basically as an institution or someone who has this currency pair this is the price i'm selling if it for and this is the price i will buy it for and the difference between the two is called the spread so as you can see 1.5 minus 1.4 is 0.1 and 0.1 is the spread. So what's the mid market rate? Well, obviously, if this is the market rate for selling, and if this is the market rate for buying, the mid market rate would have to be in between. So if you take 1.5 plus 1.4 and add them together, that's 2.9 and 2.9 divided by two is going to be 1.45. So that's the mid market rate. So the mid market rate is what is in more cases called the accurately called the fair market rate is the fair price that you can get. You know, so obviously when you're sending remittances, this is the price the remittance company may be buying the rate for and then give, be selling it to you at this price. Or they could be buying it at this price and giving you the mid-market rate. In case of transfer-wise, they always keep saying, you know, we sell you the mid-market rate. Is mid-market rate really the best? In some cases it may be, in some cases it may not be. Um, if you're getting a better price, then why not get that better price if you're going to be buying it? Or, you know, if you're going to buy it, then obviously you need the lowest price. But if you're going to sell it, then you need a higher price. But anyways, in red over here is the institution. So, you know, when you say bid price, that's the bid price that you will bid on. You say, okay, I'm going to bid at 1.5. You know, I want to buy this thing because they are, remember, they are selling it. And if you want to sell them something, you know, then this is the 1.40. That's the ask price. That's what they're saying. They say, if you want to sell it to me, this is what I'm asking. I'm asking anyone to step forward who's got the price of 1.40. It's also called the offer price. So as a seller, if someone who holds, let's say, you know, a British pounds and you want to go and sell them, let's say you, you, have, you, have, you have 100 British pounds and you want to go sell them for US dollars, well, when you walk into the exchange or whatever it is, sell it online, this is the price you will get, 1.4, because that's the price that they are buying at. And if you want to have dollars and you want to go and buy it, well, this is the buy price, because see, that represents you. You go into the institution, and that's the buy price. So the mid-market rate is in between the two. In many cases, you can get it. In many cases, you can't get it. In many cases, you're pretty close to the mid-market rate. So, and, you know, this is the spread. The smaller the spread, that means more tighter the market, more liquid the market is. Because when the spreads go really low, that means there's a lot of liquidity in the market. It usually means that I'm not a FX, Forex trader. So if there's someone who's going to correct me, please do so in the comments below. But that's typically mean. A, a, a lower spread means that there are plenty of buyers and plenty of sellers and there are plenty of, you know, the, the, there's a plenty of liquidity in the market and hence the spread will go low. When there is a one-sided market, then the spread starts to increase and then you have things like arbitrage opportunities, etc. It's also called the mid-market rate. Uh, the mid-market rate is also referred to as the interbank rate. And the re reason they call it the interbank rate is because banks buy from each other at this rate. So, you know, there could be a bank, this could be, let's say, Bank X, and you can have Bank Y coming in and say, hey, listen, I want to buy, let's say, I don't know, $100,000 from you or £100,000 from you. And this is the rate that they will negotiate because obviously they want to make a little bit of money when they sell it to their clients or they want to make a little money when they want to buy it from their clients, what have you. So, But th this is the, typically the rate that the banks will sell it to each other. So it's it's in many ways also known as the wholesale rate. Um, and obviously, the goal of every money transfer operator is to get it at the mid-market rate. And obviously, the goal of every person trying to send money back home or trying to you know, do an FX transaction is also to do it at the mid-market rate. So herein lies the opportunity, and this is where the spread comes in. And you know, the spread is where you are usually making the money. Either you're making it a little over here, a little over here. 
and then as obviously this is the fx gain and so forth. I mean, this is a very simplified uh, equation that I've shown you. That sometimes the rates are much higher, and you know, obviously the fx fees involved, etc. But the mid market rate, as a definition point of view, now you understand how it's calculated. It's the bid price minus the ask price, and you know, take the average of the two, and that is the mid market rate or the interchange rate. And the difference between the two is called the spread. When you go buy it, you buy it at the highest price. When you go sell your money, you sell it at the lowest price. The bid and the ask is offered by the institution. So when the when bid means come and bid on it, this is what my price is, I'm selling it to you. And ask means I ask anyone who wants to surrender their dollars at this price to come forward because I will buy it from you. I hope I was able to explain that concept. If you have any other question or comments, please feel free to contact me. The YouTube comment section is open. Also, if you want to contact me regarding business, there's a contact form in the description below. Please fill it out. I'd be happy to communicate with you. There's also a WhatsApp number. Anyways, till next time, this is Festival Khan signing off.